There have been many times on our planet where there were other creatures that were doing quite well, but they had their time and they were gone. Unlike other species on our planet before us, we've got a choice and we're running out of time. The stakes are high, so we need to decarbonize all sorts of industries and we need to be able to capture carbon in vast quantities at a rapid rate. Do you know what it feels like when the, the weight of the planet is on your shoulders? You know, we feel like we're yelling at the top of our lungs because we have an answer. Being selected as one of the teams for XPRIZE carbon removal has been huge for us. We're connected into this global community and getting to know these other organizations that are aligned with our mission is gonna be really important to help solve this problem faster. Aspiring Materials is a mineral conversion company. We've developed a process that takes ultramafic rocks like olivine and turns them into useful products that can help with carbon capture as well as decarbonize heavy industry. The process we've developed at Aspiring, it's really a breakthrough. What we've done is develop a process that can capture carbon at unprecedented concentrations. Basically, we're unlocking nature's power to capture carbon, but we're doing it at an accelerated time scale, which is exactly what the world needs right now. Living in Christchurch is amazing. Uh, I often find myself riding up in the Port Hills, and it reminds me of my time at Stanford University where I met my mentor, Professor Bob Coleman. Bob would often take me out into the field to take a look at these rocks. And I remember on one of our many road trips, he said to me, Chris, I figured out what these rocks are. It's gonna be up to you to figure out what to do with them. I didn't have no idea what he really meant at the time, but I think he was the, the person that really got me thinking differently about what these rocks could do and what they could mean in the future. I never really questioned being anything other than a scientist. I was really excited about becoming a chemical engineer and I did a summer at a chemical company as an intern. But I remember talking to the plant manager and he asked me, how comfortable do you feel working for a site that's making two billion tons of plastic a year? And I realized I needed to go do something that I thought was part of the solution. Olivine, it's so simple. It's just iron, magnesium, and silica. That magnesium is the part that can sequester CO2 naturally, but it's slow. We're able to speed this process up so that we can actually capture the CO2 in a matter of minutes by exposing the magnesium. We take the olivine rock, we grind it up, and then we digest it in acid. This breaks down the rock into what we call an elemental soup. Yeah, you can dissolve a rock into this elemental soup, but trying to reassemble the rock in such a way it becomes usable products that can serve some sort of purpose, that's where the trick is. At Aspiring Materials, we've managed to do just that. We extract silica, iron, and nickel, which were useful products in their own right, until finally we're left with the magnesium hydroxide. So one process, but many products. People have understood for a long time that magnesium hydroxide can sequester CO2. But the traditional methods of making it requires a lot of energy. And in the process of doing that, it releases a lot of CO2. 
So up until now, it hasn't made a lot of sense. Uh, but with our process, we're able to get to that magnesium to allow it to do its job unimpeded. Capturing the carbon is as simple as adding water to our magnesium hydroxide product. The CO2 reacts with it quickly, forming a solid. The CO2 is then stored as a stable carbonate once it's bonded to the magnesium, and it's not going to be re-emitted. What's the most amazing thing about this is that you can verify what this process is doing. You can see the magnesium hydroxide transforming into the carbonate being locked away. And it takes only hours to seconds. I get super excited when we do the carbonation testing for the direct air capture loop. You can almost immediately see the carbon disappearing from the air. And this is magnesium that we had just made yesterday or the day before, and here it is in the lab sucking out the CO2. Can you imagine what that means? We have the ability to physically pull CO2 out of the atmosphere and sequester it away forever. As a geologist, I think about how we're connected to all these different processes. These landscapes that I've studied for such a long time you don't want to pull them apart, and you don't want to damage the earth any more than it already has. At the moment in New Zealand, this rock is often just used as aggregate on the road. And the cool thing is, this material is globally abundant. So we could bring this process all over the planet, and it would be a source of carbon capture that could benefit everyone. It would literally take decades to go through the amount of olivine that's just sitting in piles ready to be used before we'd actually have to touch anything new for the first time. It's incredibly important to us that what we do doesn't create any new problems. When we use green energy sources, our system is taking in more CO2 then it's giving off, which means our system is net negative. Plus, what's exciting is that our process is circular. At the end of extraction, we're able to recycle all of the acids and bases to use again, so there's next to no waste. Our next step is to scale up the process from our current lab scale to a pilot plant scale where we're able to process up to a ton of rock per day. So for every one ton of rock, we're able to sequester or offset up to three tons of CO2. Our magnesium hydroxide product is remarkable, but it's not just the carbon capture that's important. We've also got the chance to reimagine ways to decarbonize heavy industries by using our products as cleaner alternative materials in the cement, steel, or energy industries. This technology can help companies right now. You, you can add it to the system that they already have, and it will immediately begin to curb their CO2 emissions. If we can lower emissions from these by even a small amount, it's really, really substantial. We're one of many solutions needed to remove CO2 from our atmosphere. We've just listened and learned from nature and created an elegant but simple solution. One that begins and ends with a rock. To learn more about XPRIZE carbon removal, head to xprize.org slash carbon removal.